In this video, we are going to demonstrate how to connect Azure Data Lake Storage from the Denaro platform. To connect to Azure Data Lake Storage, you need a custom wrapper which is available for download in the Denaro support cycle. To download this wrapper, you need to have a valid support site credentials. Go to support.denaro.com. Under the tab Downloads, click on Denaro Connects. Once you're in the Denaro Connects page, Search for the custom wrapper Denaro Distributed File System Custom Wrapper. The Denaro Distributed File System Custom Wrapper distribution contains five BDP wrappers capable of reading files in several formats from HDFS, Amazon S3, Azure Blob Storage, Azure Data Lake Storage, and Google Cloud Storage. The various file formats are delimited text files, sequence files, map files, Avro files, and Parquet files. Also, it contains a custom wrapper to retrieve file information from the distributed file system and display it in a relational way. Click the download icon next to the wrapper name. Now the wrapper is being downloaded. Unzip the file to have the jars extracted. After the wrapper is downloaded, we need to import this wrapper into Virtual Data Boot Administration tool. Open the Virtual Data Boot Administration tool. Click on the File menu. Select the option Extension Management. A new window is opened. In this window, click on the Import button to import the downloaded custom wrapper. Click on the Import button. Browse to the folder location where you have Custom Wrapper Denaro Distributed File System Custom Wrapper present. Please note that the wrapper has three jars present in the DISD folder. Please make sure to select the correct JAR file in order to be able to utilize the complete features of the custom wrapper. Select the JAR named Denado-HDFS-CustomWrapper-7.0-ReleaseState-JAR-with-Dependencies.JAR Then click OK to import the JAR into the administration tool. Once the JAR is successfully imported, you will get an alert box displaying the new custom elements imported in the virtual data port server. The next step is to create a data source for connecting to Azure Data Lake Storage. To do that, right click on the elements tree, select New, Data Source and choose Custom option. A new tab is opened. Provide the name for the custom data source. Next, you need to select the class name. Before doing that, make sure you check the box Select Jars. In the list, select denado htfs custom wrapper 7.0 option. As you select that, you can see the class name parameters filled with value. Now click the drop down option to view the list of classes for the custom jar. In the list, select the following class name as the data that we are going to use is a delimited file. Select the class com.denado.connect.hadoop.htfs.wrapper.htfs delimited text file wrapper for this example and save the data source. Depending on the file type which includes delimited text files, sequence files, map files, Avro files and parquet files, different classes can be selected in this step. Now we need to create the base view to introspect the data from the Azure Data Lake storage. To do that, click on the Create Base View button on the top right side of the Data Source tab. A new window has popped up. Provide the file system URI value. This is the URI which has connection details of the Azure Data Lake storage. This usually is of the form ADL colon double slash account name dot Azure Data Lake Store dot net. ADL, Azure client which can read all files available in Azure Data Lake storage. Now provide the path value of the delimited file that you want to access in the Azure Data Lake storage. Please know that these fields are mandatory. Now we need to provide a configuration file that overrides the default core parameters file in order to establish a successful connection to Azure Data Lake Storage. These values are present in core-site.xml file. This file contains the credentials and custom options that are needed to connect and introspect the Azure Data Lake Storage. Here is a sample core-site.xml file which you can use to create a file and replace the relevant access credentials. To know more about this core-site.xml and details regarding other optional parameters, refer to the official documentation that comes along with Denaro Distributed File System Customer Wrapper Download Folder Distribution.
in the drop down next to custom core site.xml file select the option local click on the configure button in the new window browse to the folder location where you have the core site.xml file once you have selected the file click ok now you can see the folder path with file name displayed below the parameter custom core site.xml file Provide the field separated value with comma as we are reading the data from CSV file. Click OK to create and see the scheme of the base view. Then rename the base view and save it. Next is to see if we can successfully view the data by executing the base view. In order to do that, click on the execution panel on the top right side of the base view. In the execution tab at the bottom, click on the execute button on the right. As the results are received, you can see them being displayed in the output tab. Thus, we have successfully connected to Azure Data Lake Storage from Denaro platform using Denaro Distributed File System Custom Wrapper. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you learned about connecting to Azure Data Lake Storage from Denaro platform.